Hey guys, um, well it's raining outside right now and there's some more rain coming tomorrow so everybody's pretty well grounded as far as uh, shelling corn and combining or doing soybeans. Um, if there were still, <laughs> still combining being done I probably would uh, try to bring more footage of it. Um, but uh, no such luck. We got rain and everybody's pretty well grounded. So I just want to make a quick video, uh, thinking out loud again. And this is uh, just a two-part video I have for today. Um, the first part is I was thinking again about uh, getting some steers, uh, feeder steers, and uh, trying to figure out how to make that work here with the uh, buildings that I have. Um, as far as, uh, it's always, let me put it this way, it, the cheapest way that uh, I find to buy steers to uh, raise, and it takes a long time this way, but um, is to get them when they're calves that they're just weaned off of, uh, off of a milk replacer. Um, a lot of uh, dairy farmers that have Holsteins that you want to use Holsteins for steers, uh, a lot of times the uh, bull calves, they're willing to give away. Um, that's not always the case. Sometimes they're they're gonna want a little something for it. it all depends on the price, but when the price of uh, uh, Steers are down uh, usually you can get calves for next to nothing um, So I'm just thinking here this area that I had cleaned out um, now I had showed you this in the barn tour video um, It's hard to say I didn't really measure it uh, how big of an area this is. It's it's a little bigger. I'm looking at the camera right now, and it's actually bigger than it looks on camera um, If I can stand back a little bit here and... But anyway, I had thoughts of This is a nice concrete pad here, and you've got a door that you can get in with the uh, manure spreader or anything like that um, I was thinking maybe and again just thinking out loud. Maybe you guys will have a better idea um, putting some gates along here where the concrete floor starts uh, maybe two gates and I'm not sure how many calves I could get in a, a space like this um, just looking at it now I don't know maybe six seven uh, depending on how crowded it gets in here a um, couple advantages of using this space is that way is south and that would make this way north so as far as in the winter time if we get a real cold winter um, they're kind of shielded from all the north uh, winds and that way is east so it used to be insulated back uh, till I cleaned it out all the insulation had fallen out of these rafters so I had just basically cleaned it up and that rafter there was actually cracked um, from the snow load that we had this winter uh, or spring like I said we had a spring snowstorm that dumped 27 inches on us um, the roof held but it did have one of the rafters cracked so I just kind of scabbed it back together and then shoveled the roof off the problem is water um, now it's not too far from the house if I'd want to be bailing buckets all the time I do have some old cast iron bathtubs that I can uh, get some water here to this area um, if I'd uh, have to just put a cast iron bathtub here on this concrete pad <laughs> and just have to haul water from the house. Uh, the issue is in the winter time, I don't know that I'd have enough in here that it wouldn't freeze. Um, it would be a constant thing that you'd have to constantly be attending to the water. Um, like I said, there is a well uh, that was hooked up to this barn and it needs some work. We're nowhere near... Uh, Nowhere near having water in here. And the other thing is you'd have to run the water line through all that cold space. Uh, there's no cattle in here. Uh, and there's no way to uh, keep it from freezing. And there's no real way to run a line underground. So I still have to figure that out. Um, but I'm just trying to think out loud here and think uh, possible ways I can uh, expand or uh, start some steers now once they're bigger that's the next problem once they get bigger bailing water in five gallon buckets isn't isn't real fun and that's where i'd have to get the water fixed um like i say out where my equipment is it'd be perfect for raising steers but i don't want my equipment sitting outside and i have no other place to put it so i'm looking in here trying to figure out how i can turn this old dairy barn into an area for um steers <laughs> so 
I'm just thinking out loud and uh, trying to get a sense of how this could be done. Um, I think once you get enough steers in here, uh, you won't have to worry about water freezing. Um, and it is a long time till they get uh, fully grown and, and sold, but just trying to weigh some of my options. I have the buildings and I'm not really sure how I can do this. So. Yeah, that's uh, basically what I'm trying to figure out today. So I'll uh, take you over on to part two here. All right, guys, so part two here. Um, just talking about uh, YouTube a little bit and uh, some of my experiences with... Uh, uh, you've probably seen other pages' videos about the uh, flagging videos and the uh, demonetizing. Um, and I'm very new to YouTube. Like I said, I just started this summer. So uh, and it was only about a month ago that I had enough uh, views to be able to monetize my page. Um, but I've seen it on more than just uh, the farming uh, pages that a lot of videos are getting flagged and taken down um, or have been demonetized um, for whatever reason. I, I'm not sure. Uh, like I say, it's not just the farming pages. I've seen them on a lot of... Uh, non-farming page I, i'm subscribed to that many channels i hardly get a chance to watch uh, watch all the videos um but the majority of uh uh for a while there a lot of the topics was uh, youtube and flagging their videos um and i'm not immune from that i i can tell you honestly i've had uh probably in the last month uh four or five that were flagged for uh not being suitable for advertising or uh, don't meet guidelines or whatever <coughs> whatever the uh, the general blanket statement is when they uh, demonetize a video is um, I I'm still not really sure why um, I haven't figured the, out the rhyme or reason um, basically when I see that it a video has been flagged I just request a, a review automatically and what happens is usually within a day or two, um, it's re-monetized and another video will be flagged as being inappropriate. And uh, then I'll have to request a review on that. And I will just about every time. Uh, and it says the video has to be at a thousand views before they can uh, review it. And not all my videos have made it to a thousand views, but usually for whatever reason, it's re-monetized and the video below it, um, or two videos below it, will be flagged. And uh, I'm, I'm just wondering if this isn't a, two, two things come to mind. If it isn't just a glitch in their um, software uh, or their algorithm that uh, it's uh, picking up on some things that it thinks are inappropriate and it just does it automatically. I, I'm not sure how much the, the human element is, uh, playing into this uh, and I could be wrong there could be somebody sitting there and uh, uh, flagging some of these videos but if, if you've watched my channel um, they're usually I mean since I started I haven't used any bad language and it's on purpose so I can be suitable for advertisers um, I try to have uh, content that isn't offensive or I, I, I stay right away from uh, politics or anything like that and that's fine I, I don't want to uh, put too much of uh, personal things on a channel that actually is very public. Um, I'm basically just trying to go day by day through my farm operation and different things that I experience or uh, come across. And uh, the personal stuff, I don't think, is something I want to include. Um, some people might disagree with that, but uh, that's kind of how I've been trying to do things. And... Uh, but anyway, I mean, you, you've seen my content and uh, there, there's never anything crude. I mean, anybody of any age can, can watch these videos and that's kind of on purpose. Uh, try, to follow, try to follow that pretty strictly just on account of I don't want to have videos being flagged or uh, get strikes against the channel. Um, basically, just trying to keep things clean for, for public viewing. So anyway... Um, that's where I'm kind of thinking that it's got to be some type of software uh, on their end that <clears throat> that does this. Actually, right now I have two videos that were flagged um, as uh, not suitable for advertisers, and they are uh, uh, in in review right now. And 
these two videos that have been flagged. There was one previous to that. It was the uh, Massey Ferguson combine uh, in the field. And uh, there was uh, hardly even any talking in that video. So whatever, whatever the, the uh, computer uh, sensor <laughs> system found, um, I just request the review and it, it's just, it seems like a constant thing. Um, I'll request a review and then those videos will be remonetized and then the uh, videos below that will get, uh, will get flagged. So I'm not sure. I don't know if it's something that's just a, uh, you're fighting a computer and I think that's kind of what's going on. I, uh, I really think that Basically, you're just fighting a computer. Um, the only other thing that would come to mind is if somebody was reporting the videos for whatever reason. Um, if, uh, I don't know, if somebody doesn't like the video, if they decide to report it as being offensive, if it automatically goes to a review period. Um, and I don't know why that would be. Uh, <laughs> but I guess it's there's always a possibility if somebody uh, has any... Uh, excuse to not like your videos uh, if you have any enemies out there that you don't really know about but anyway it's it's just a it's it's something I've been dealing with I'm on a small enough scale that it's not like I'm losing any money I've calculated the <laughs> revenue that I have made so far versus the uh, lifetime views of my channel and every one of those skippable ads that uh, you guys watch it's 0 0.003 cents for every every one of those ads um so it is such a small amount for me at my scale um that it's it's not a big deal it's just kind of a thing where i have to request a review every so often so i don't know i don't know like i say i'm new to youtube i've seen a lot of people complain and uh, i guess they'd be right to do so especially if you're a larger channel and one of your videos uh, makes a significant amount of income um so I'm not in their shoes and I can't speak for larger channels being on a small scale when a video has been demonetized I don't lose that much money so um, I might think a little different if I was a larger channel so yeah just some of my thoughts on what's been going on and it, it's not just me it, it's everybody it's it's something some bugs need to get worked out of this uh, algorithm they have um, to flag videos and that's the only thing right now that I can think is going on. I I, I basically think we're just uh, fighting a computer. So, um, yeah, it's a real dreary day here today. So I don't know what, what's all going to get done. I know I don't hear any combines rolling. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.